Hi, I'm Tando Luetu. And I'm Mungani Mdolo. And this is The Roundtable with TKZ. Yeah. And so joining us in the studio today, we have Zwai Bala and of course Usbu, known as Umaloya. Good morning, guys, and welcome. Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. Thanks, morning. For Thanks for having us. Yeah. I'm so nervous and I'm so excited. Are you nervous? It's crazy. I'm listening. I'm trying to say, like, what is the, what is the first thing that I can ask? Because I've, I've had so many <laughs> yeah. things just start going yeah. through my head. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so true. But one of the reasons why you guys are actually here is because we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Halloween. Now, if anybody feels old, please raise your hand. Like, seriously. <laughs> I feel ages. <laughs> like, <laughs> even at home, like, just don't be afraid to raise your hand. 20 years. Unbelievable. I was saying to Mon the Fly, I'm like, dude, can you believe 20 years? And we met before then, like, really? working towards Halloween. And now already Halloween is it's 20, 20 years. years. But this tells you. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But for me, like, you know, when I started researching the fact that it's 20 years, it actually made me realize that how young you guys were when you made it. Mm -hmm. Take us back to you guys are in studio. Obviously, when you guys started making the music, I'm sure you guys didn't have like a, like a, a, a long plan. You guys just wanted to make songs. Yeah. It was that love connection. Mm. Amachimbos, the, 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 everything was natural. Yeah. It, it wasn't about the music, but it was about the love of the, the, Being together, the, 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 the togetherness, yeah. the fellowship yeah. together, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we we're doing a lot of things mm. beside the music. Yeah. I remember uh, we used to share clothes. Yeah. yeah. We used to, you know, hang around together. We lived together. Lord, yeah, we lived yeah. together. So in Linden, right? Yeah. This, this is the, you, when you were living in a back room in, in, yeah. in a house that in Linden. Yeah. 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 The back room yeah. as a studio. Yes. Yeah. 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 And yeah. you know what? <laughs> the, I love the fact that you guys decided to call yourselves TKZ because Dangerous Darkies would not have worked, guys. <laughs> oh, dude. I'd, okay, that missed me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it actually was, we didn't struggle a lot with calling ourselves a name because if anything, our first single was Take It Easy. Which and was then, brilliant. and then some people would be like, "Yeah, man, hey, take it." It's like, no, with TKs, you know, take it, take it is TKs. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and But the moment it settled, it just settled. Mm. Yeah. And also, uh, I mean, it was T from Dugolo, mm. the the K from Cavelo, and the Z from Zwai. Yeah. Yeah. So it made things easier, you know. Now I remember when Take It Easy was actually released. Everybody was saying that this was an album that was way before its time. Mm. The sound was so different and so amazing. Mm. Do you guys have plans of actually re-releasing it? Because it is such an amazing album. Even if you listen to it now. Even if you listen to it now, yeah. and it was way ahead of its time. Yeah, perhaps maybe if we were to do anything with it, we'd have to redo the music. Because they... Yeah, obviously. I had just... It, like, we'd have to just revisit. I know yeah. the guys have used some of the lyrics in other songs. In other songs, yeah. yeah. I was fresh from, from college. Yes, you yes. You know, like... So everything was so worked out, you know, like, no, I think a cello solo should come in there on <laughs> yeah, part 58. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, I, think, I think it was the album that was working, yes, as much as people were saying it was ahead of the ahead time. Of the time, time yeah. But at the same time, if you, you, you'll visit and release it now, there's so much that needs to be changed, changed you know? Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of the style, in terms of the composition... All the compositions themselves yeah, are cool. It, yeah, you know? they're cool, you know, they, 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 I mean, they're they fitting timeless yeah yeah you guys are called you 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 defined the sound of the 90s at that time and when people ask me is tkz yeah. for me quite or hip-hop i always say it's like e hip-hop mm. yeah. that's how i feel yeah. about the music yeah. you were mm. doing yeah. i can't categorize it as hip-hop or quite well, you know? hence, hence we, we decided to call it the guys yes yeah we call it the guys yeah, yeah it, it changed the game mm. it basically it, it was did. it was a transformation you write it was a transformation between the Kasi hip hop and the and the and the and the Kwaito, mm. you know, because uh, I think of of Zwai's influence of the the background from the orchestra, the opera, and oh, all the, that, the you know. Class, I yes. think that's that's why it had like a lot of the the strings and all that, you know. Yeah. Zwai can elaborate more, you know, because he's <laughs> the one that was behind everything, which, you know. Which I always think. Did you find resistance in the industry? Because obviously, I mean, if you think about it before you guys came, we were coming from Amaloya where it's basically one line on a beat. 
then you guys come now and you're actually writing lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, but and, I mean, how and can there's you know? way more. Yeah, there's no, I don't think anyone should resist something like that. But you know when there's change? Uh, like, yes, like, but it yeah. was good change. I mean, yeah. it was like yeah. stuff, it was, we weren't saying we are doing change. Mm. Yeah. We were making music. Yeah, it, it, it just happened. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and when we got, once we got into the studio, we just made a song. I wasn't doing a quiet or song mm. or anything. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, but there's, I'm thinking of the arrangement. I'm thinking of, uh, you know, even producing vocals, which is not something that guys would do. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, I've yeah, produced yeah. the vocals, like, no, let's not have this. Even if it's a rap song, but for me, I was hearing pitches and tones and just mm -hmm. delivery and so on. What know? were you it's listening to at the time? Like, like I, I'm, I'm always, I, I always think, when I listen to the album, I'm always thinking, like, what were you listening to on your own at the time? Halloween. Is something that was quite different because yo, we used to listen to, to li listen to Frank stuff. Sinatra, yeah. a lot of stuff. Kach yeah. Kachau, uh, like some uh, South American uh, Cuban stuff. Yeah. Um, yo, also hip hop, of hip hop. Yeah. Well. yeah. I mean, a lot of yeah. Tupac because it infused a lot of yeah. sounds. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and really that is what it was. It yeah. was because we we had such a world of of um, you know of influences mm. and and we weren't just listening to the sound itself, but like. The production, the mm. approach to things, the content, the mm. you know, the messages, the yeah. so it was a whole lot of things. It, and it, it was more musical. Mm. It yeah. was more musical. You know, we never like, uh, hence I said earlier, uh, it, it was the influence of that orchestra from his background. You know, yeah. And uh, I think from that from that time, it's when, as much as I was a more of the quiet or gassy boy. Mm. Mm. When I started to work with Amajita, but it was good though. You know, I started to now to understand music differently. You mm. know, mm. and I, 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 it opened like doors for me to listen to everything. But it was cool though that that Usbu can come up. Usbu came up with a bass for Mamboj. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. You know? yeah. Yeah. Do, boo, boo. Boo and palafala. Boo and palafala. palafala. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like so it's so it's really it's. Uh, it's so cool that at least you can bring in something because we wanted to keep it like, hey guys, we're getting off, we're yeah. leaving the streets, we're leaving the streets. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, you so know, we wanted, we wanted to have like, to, to, bring to, to bring it back, to well, have you know, guys, both flavors that works for, yeah. for, 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 for the market, you know, at that time. Now guys, I need you all to brag right now. Halloween broke a hell of a lot of records. It set the bar really high. Come, brag, tell me. How many awards? How well did it sell? Yeah, this, is, this is your Can moment. Cannot count. Cannot <laughs> count. Cannot count. I remember Countless. four summers. <clears throat> uh, and I remember those summers where you'd go, you'd go pick one, an award. You're trying to walk back. They'll call your name. Yes, they yeah. back. And we ran out of, we ran out of, uh, 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 like, people to thank. I remember yeah. you yes. going you know crazy. What you <laughs> thanking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, what you asking? And I was like, what's wrong For with the you? First like, oh, digelo, no, no, yo. <laughs> For the, first, for the first one, you could be able to say, say words. Like, yeah. Second one, yes, little bit. Third one, no words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, <laughs> it's like, how many did you guys expect to get? Uh, so, I, I mean, I was just more concerned about the performance. Yeah. Because yeah. we're yeah. performing with Moses Mlelekwa. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And that's when I launched Loiso for the first time. Yeah, mm. yes. Uh, you know, because we're going to come in with We Love This Place. So, I yeah. thought, you know, Loiso must. So, I launched him on the on South Africa's biggest, the biggest music stage, yeah. stage, you know? Talking about Moses, I mean, that was a very, very sad time in, in yeah. South African yeah. music. And every time TKZ comes up, there's somebody that I always think of, and that is, of course, Utsuli Tilis. I always think about the huge impact that Utsuli Tilis would have done yeah. in this industry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It was very sad, actually. It was that loss, um, even Moses, yeah. Joe Moses Begazo, like he was just about to blow. I mean, like yeah. a bomb speaker and everyone was starting to I'm use him. Exactly, mm. because and um, I mean, I mean uh, what I can say is that uh, during that time, you know, especially Zwai, you know, Zwai's uh, perspective of the music and everything, Zwai was one of those uh, coolest guys in TKZ. And even people never even realized because Uzwa is the one that was playing the key role yeah. in there. He was I the, found like he, he was almost he, he managing was the, the group. He was the engine. He was the engine was a lot of, of the production. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait he was about even that possibly the need personalities the as well. <laughs> He was even managing the person that's because yeah. I mean all the time Zwai is the one, ah man, don't do this boy, don't do Zwai was more like I mean as much as I was older than all of them, but Zwai was like the oldest. Like the, the, the oldest. Because old 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 <laughs> hey, this one with easily go, I haven't had to come like no now as woman, you older man, what are you <laughs> Let's talk about the TKZ family. Where is everybody and what is it that they're doing right now? 
Uh, well, mm-hmm. Macheu left us, yeah, uh, sadly. Yeah, very sad. 2008, yeah. 10 yeah. years yeah. ago. There was a song of his that I used to like. Mang Bugek said, Get a bus love. Yeah, that's too bad. And I didn't know that that album actually was quite popular. It was huge. Especially here. It was huge. Because I asked someone to please send it to me. They said, ah, and you know, know, when I do my gigs, that line, that line, everyone sings that line. And I was so surprised that this song can be this so much big in the Even Tiki 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 the EP, you remember? Yeah. But we were meant to do an album together. Together, that's right. It was yeah. Abantu Abazwa and then all those songs were the songs that were supposed to be in one album. Mm. Mm. But me and Mache, we had some differences. Then mm. Gachelu Zwai, Zwai, as in point. Because Zwai was producing both Actually, albums. Actually, both albums. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I at forgot. the same time. So we're working on the album, me yeah. and Mache. So Mache started to have these... Uh, funny tendencies, Zach, you know? Mm. Then I decided, boy, I'm, I'm parting away. I'm no longer doing... That's why it's like, ah, but it's woo. I mean, we have, we have done how many songs already that time? I, I don't think know, we had a I way don't about, know. Like, we were about to finish the album, album. Yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. But then as we decided, let's separate the album. Then Zwai had to start afresh now and focus on my Heu's EP and my, and my EP. Yeah. But it was so interesting because, yeah. I mean, Zwai was that uh, patient guy that will... You know, you can actually see it like sitting here with you that yeah, you're such I mean, a laid I mean, back. I mean, we're, 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 more, we're like, hence I said, like, you're Zoy, like his kids, so yeah, exactly. So I was well, like, was like, always, like for, you know, for me, like, it, it's fascinating. Like, if, if you take yourself back, just the little time that we spent just watching, I can see that you were like the father figure. How did you manage to keep everyone together? If I think about how you guys went from making music, then now the money's starting to come in, now the cars are starting to come in, the women are starting to come in. How do you make sure that everyone stays focused and carries on doing what obviously got you guys there? Oh man, one of us had to. Mm. One of us had to go. <laughs> Yo, it happened quick. Yes. Yeah, it happened very quick. Very if you quick. think about it, it was oh. really quick. And like, and, me, and a like, lot. And a yeah. lot. In yeah. a very short space of time. In a very time. short yeah. space of time. Yeah, Whereas yeah. me, like the moment I finish mixing this one, Master it, I'm thinking about the next, next one. one yeah. Whereas the guys are still just want to soak in the <laughs> glory of, yeah, of what's just happened. I remember yeah. Carvello used to come to your studio. Zwai, 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 Zwai. I'm a bit left, boy. But Zwai, Zwai will say, I'm, fine, I'm still busy with mm. another song. Let me finish this one. You know, but Zwai, you're taking so long. Uh, you, know, you, do, you don't understand the production because Zwai was a, a, a perfectionist. Yeah. You know, Talking the, about Ukabelo, he really, uh, re- really spoke I ran for my life. And he talked about the, the drinking and the drugs. And the one thing that I appreciated about him in that book is that Wakuluma in Dabazake. Mm. He spoke his truth and didn't talk, and about, didn't talk yeah. about you guys. Yeah. Now, his book is called I Ran For My Life. If you were to have a book, what would it be titled? I, A, A, because don't talk to me. I'm a lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me. We talk, talk to my <laughs> lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, hey, what a question. Uh, I never thought of writing a book yet, but during those days, hey, there's a lot to write about, you yeah. know? Mm. Hence I said earlier, in a, short, in a short space of time, we had so much experience, we had so much drama, we had so much good times together and yeah. bad times together. One of my memories, if, if I can remember, is during the time when things were like, you know, on those hey, hey, hey days, days yeah. you know? <clears throat> you remember how much we used to cancel gigs because we don't want to perform like. anymore in Africa because it's hot. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it happened at some stage where, whereby even like after doing TKZ family, Huayza, uh-huh. Macheu uh, and all of them, they also started now to join TK, the, the, the other two, you know, mm. Tukulo and Cabello. Mm. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. they felt, you know, we are superstars now. We are going to choose places to go, you know. Yeah. And then we had this booking that was paying us like huge amount. And then me and Zwai and, and, and then Oloye, yeah, so we said, no, Sipo, I mean, that time was our manager. He decided, no, guys, we can't not do this show, you know? And then we went to Kenya, three of us, is TKZ but family. Listen there, <laughs> but listen, on the continent, TKZ is like Michael Jackson. Yeah. We are the biggest thing yeah, ever. Yeah. So it was like your two hour show. Everything is yeah. just looking at us. We're yeah. performing in, in an arena. Wow. Like the, the three of us. Yeah, and I'm sure they like only knew the, the, you know, your big ones, but there were 
each and every song. Like, ah. Yeah, song you know? by song. I remember in Kenya, okay, I can't talk about the Chovi Angoda. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no, talk but, about it. no, but the funny yeah. thing is that, you know, um, when you have a big song and it's in a particular language, yeah. they people change don't it. know, like, they, no, they interpret they, it in oh, their language. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like in Kenya, yeah. show me Angola. Yeah, they say, show me Angola. Yeah, show, say, show me Angola. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. But, but then you know what that means. Take show off, me your drawers. Show me your, oh, okay. yeah. take off your underwear. What were the women oh, doing? Yeah. It, they, they but that's what they saw whenever we, I mean, I. did that. So they're like, tell us, what does that fuck mean? What does that song mean? Because we say, in fact, let's hear it from the whole mouth now yeah. Yeah. You know? guys with the woman and you guys talking about obviously all those things right give me some crazy stories that happened that include women from these tours you guys were young because there were stories you can't tell me that I don't think I was just too, guys. too naive uh -uh. Ah, ah, why? The moment dead. you put your hands oh, like no, this no, I was no, like no, nah I'm no, no, being <laughs> dead <laughs> honest with you smooth you think you can't think wait, it. guys? I know you. I know for no. Okay, let me, let, let's put it this <laughs> way. <laughs> Who got the most play from women in TKZ family? Because <laughs> no, because I, when I went to the mall today, a girl said to me, "Oh my goodness, please kiss Gabelo. I mean, Tukolo for me." And you were just saying that you were speaking to somebody uh, about TKZ. And what did yeah. she say? No, she was actually like, "Dude, oh, for me, Zoya, because it's so quiet. Like, I like that whole quiet thing about him." It makes him look so mysterious. And I even remember back in the day when, the, when you guys would come perform. Because um, I, was, I was maybe 17, 18 at the time. Mm. And you know what 17, you think in Hamba na Macheri. But when these guys come on, they're screaming and they're running off. Like yeah. 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 No, look, especially Durban area. Like, we used to come here a lot and yeah. they loved us. Yes. Yeah. The most naughty. Yes, who was the most naughty? Uh, yeah, no. When it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, it was quiet. Guys, yeah, yeah. The two of us, honestly. Oh, but the, the naughtiest. Yeah, yeah, I guess maybe we're just quiet. Yeah, you know. And, and then work. Yeah, it does work. Yeah. 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 You are busy here yeah, with, yeah. with yeah. the real business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, no, make make your noise. You know, so, so no, yeah. And like we used so. to share. Well, most of the time when we tours, me and Zwaru will share the room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gents, is there a specific show where you actually realize, you know what, actually we've made it? Because um, often, sometimes when you're doing something, you're doing it, Everything no, starts to come, but you don't realize that you no, actually... No, I didn't is there, is there an iconic thing where you're like, I you know what, this is not the remember. Day. I did not realize, because like I say, I'll be just working. into the music, and, and I'm working, especially there at the beginning, like, you know, just like, it's just working, yeah, making sure the music yeah. is... But there's just one day on Rocky Street in Johannesburg, yeah. in Yeovil, mm. Gabelo comes, he's like, Mafitu. We are big. Because <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he only... Yeah, yeah, like, and I swear, yeah. until that moment, I never used to... Like, I didn't know this at all. Yeah, I remember yeah. this show in Fine Valley. There was place. There was this place in Fine Valley, in Johannesburg, Eldor, next to Eldor Park. It was done by one of the TV channels. Mm. You know, it, it was like a crowd. Every every quiet artist was there. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'm sorry for the artist that came after <laughs> TK <TV's laughs> family. Because so the show was, it, 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 that, the show it was, was finished after yeah. that. Yeah. You know, the crowd, what happened, they just uh, divided themselves into two. Mm. They opened the car. I don't know who told them. And at that time, we were, I think we were performing, uh, if it was not Shibo, but it was Palafal. I'm not sure yeah. which one was no, it was just between two. those two songs. Yeah. The crowd just divided themselves like this. Wow. It's, it's a park. It's an open place. Mm. They have bottles and everything. They open themselves like this into two. Then they're starting to throw the so bottles across, across each across, other. Yeah. And no, yeah. but yeah. they yeah. used to go oh. mad. Like, Ukabelo yeah. used to say, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I never used to notice this, but really one day, like, they started going mad. Like, yeah. but, but the once, once, because there's so much, especially after we had a lot of material. Mm. At the beginning, we just had Palafala, uh, Summer Song, whatever. But once we had all these songs, I mean, yeah. we'd play a lot of the cards and like, yeah, we're done now. Yeah. Like, have you even forgotten we haven't even played Shibobo yet? Yeah. Or we haven't played. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh. So those songs, like with the last two encore songs, they think they've heard the whole show. The moment those songs come on, they. They lose it. In fact, even Um Do mm, at one point said, "I will never go yeah, after TKZ." Yeah, I will never. I will never. Actually, I will never do. Actually, I wanted to come up with Um Do story, you know, because it's one of the incidents that I want to share with people. We definitely need to talk we, about that. We, we be, yeah. like when the studio working on Palafal at that mm. time, and then I went to Sony to get because uh, I used to go to Sony to collect my 
Mashamblani royalties because you remember we're the members of Mashamblani Masham and Tukolo. You and Tukolo yeah. yeah, so when they then they phoned me to come and collect the, the royalties. So when I came there, then I, I, I went to the guys like the Neo Tukolo's sister was working there <coughs> to ask for new stuff that they had. Yeah. Then I got this new CD, the, the new Mashamblani, where we're not the members of Mashamblani. Then I listened to that. Then I heard this song, Ustokolo, I said, this guy is dissing in my cage. Mm. He's saying to go and then I came to the studio playing that song. Guys, listen to this song. Then after listening to that song, we said, I must move to Australia. Remember that song, boy? Yeah. Then we did Masimbela. How is the relationship like now? No, we are, we are fine now. Ah, we are fine. We've grown, we, we grown up, you know, we've grown mm. up. We're, but that, that song, when it came, do never wanted to perform next to us. It's so weird that you say that, you know, as we wrap up, I just want to reflect on something that one of the first concerts that TKZ ever had, y'all actually came on stage after Umdu, and all of a sudden the crowd started leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. people are throwing bottles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it must have been a very great 360 for y'all to be in a position where he it, says, it says, I'm not coming on yeah, after they, ETKZ. Yeah. No one wanted to do that. <laughs> no one wanted to do that. Even, even on shows. Even, I mean, I remember the promoters will tell you, that when they, they booking Mdu mm -hmm. or TKZ, Mdu will ask. We will nev we never ask anybody. Mm -hmm. But Mdu will ask, is TKZ booked on that show? Yeah. If, t if TKZ is booked, I'm not going to be in that show. Mm. Well, on behalf of every single person who like took this journey from Take It Easy, Halloween, Palafala, even every year when December comes around, you can't help yourself. You just have to say, hello, December. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that is in our DNA. Mm. And uh, we thank you for being our voice. Mm -hmm. We thank you for making us dance. We thank you for representing us. We really, really do appreciate mm -hmm. it. And TKZ monuments will be built in your honor. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, that is the round table with TKZ. I'm Tandaluetu. My name is Bongani Mtolo. Goodbye. <laughs> Wangreta, Akieta.